Hi, so Mrs. Lovett here, and I would like to remind some of you how to use Google Classroom. Now, my Google Classroom may look a little different from yours because it's the teacher version, but it's pretty close to the same. So, I clicked on second period writing, and you have a you know, about six or seven different classes. You may even have more than that for your intervention class. So of course you always click on the class that you need to do the work in. So up here at the top, it has the class code. And up here at the top, it has a meet link. If I make this available for meet, this is where you would click on the link to join a meet where we can see each other face to face on the camera. And this is called your stream. So as you're going down the stream, it puts the oldest stuff at the bottom. So right now at the bottom, I have this assignment that's due October 1st. So this is old. Um, on my computer, it tells me who's turned it in um, and which ones have been graded. Okay, on your computer, anytime you want to do your work, or get this assignment, you need to click next to this clipboard to get the assignment to open. And then when you do that, it will say mark is done or turn in. Now, another way you can see your work is click on the classwork up at the top. And these are organized by weeks. So quarter one, week seven, and it has the date quarter one, week six, and it has the dates. Now, if you notice, the rest of the work is not there. I deleted it because it's over two weeks old, so it gets deleted. So if you do not finish your work in a timely manner, it goes in as zeros, and zeros are not good. So once you click on the classwork, you can see which week we're in, and we are in week seven. And unfortunately, this first quarter only has eight weeks in it before we have to submit our grades. So if you're behind on work, you need to get caught up. So on your computer, when you click next to the clipboard or the question, it will say view assignment. You have to click on view assignment to get to the work. So a lot of people are messaging me and saying they can't find their work. So you have the stream to look for your work. And each thing is dated and gives a description. You have to read that. You can also look in classwork and it will tell you missing if it is late or when it is due. So you have to read those due dates. Now also, if you click on this app launcher that looks like a waffle it's nine little dots that is where you find all your documents you have your documents your slides your gmail your classroom you should be checking your gmail daily and you should be using the attendance form daily if you are a virtual student if you are just homesick or you are quarantined you do not need to use the attendance however you do need to still be checking your email and your Google Classroom and doing your work if you're quarantined or staying home sick for more than a day. You need to do your work from home because it's really hard to get caught up when you're back at school. It takes a lot of past periods, maybe even some recess. Or if you have PE in the morning, Mr. Lipham said, you know, you got to get your work done. So we'd be pulling you out of that to get your work finished. So make sure you're getting getting caught up <laughs> on your work. I'm sorry, I can't speak right now. Okay, so what we are working on in writing is your personal narrative too. So that is housed in your Google Docs. You click on that blue triangle. It says Google Docs and it will bring up all your Google Docs here and then click on that and be writing. You should have three paragraphs today, four by tomorrow, and then editing and revising and turning it in Thursday. Okay, so that was just a little reminder how to use Google Classroom. Find your assignments and do them.